Joe and welcome back to the Joe is Hungry channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome to the Joe is Hungry channel. If you like the videos, if you find this entertaining, subscribe. Mostly just watch the videos. We're going to check out Jersey Mike's Portobello and Swiss Sub Sandwich. This meatless sub has been available for about a year now at Jersey Mike's and this week they just added it as a permanent menu item. This is grilled fresh to order with portobello mushrooms, obviously, green bell peppers, grilled onions, and signature Swiss cheese. This thing weighs in at 610 calories. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. It comes in a regular size, giant, wrapped and a bowl and a regular will set you back eight dollars and 95 cents before taxes in georgia so let's get this show on the road and shoot on over to the new jersey mics in jasper georgia let's go ahead and pick up our portobello swiss sub i've got my portobello mushrooms it took them quite a little while to make that for me. It was over half an hour. I'm kind of wondering what's going on there, whether they're taking walk-in orders ahead of their online orders. A lot of people went past me while I sat there and waited. Anyway, let's go ahead and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Portobello number one comes in at a scorching 175.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Portobello number two comes in at 173.3 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. That's fresh. I know they're fresh. I watched them cook them on the grill. So I'll give them a big pass on the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Now it's time for more in-depth evaluation. So let's head on back and do the Joe is Hungry weight test. Portobello mushroom number one weighs in at 8.90 ounces. Portobello number two weighs in at 8.50 ounces. That is an average weight between the two of 8.7 ounces, and that calculates to a whopping $1.02 an ounce. It better be pretty good because it's not really scoring really high on the value scale. Now it's time for the Joe is Hungry Big Reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, and we saw how much it was. That only leaves one more test, and that would be with a meat eater doing a vegetarian sandwich. The Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite test engage. It's a little dry, the bread is chewy, but has a nice texture. The bread holds up well, no bleed through, although the filling seems a little sparse. The red peppers are very sweet and tend to overwhelm the other flavors like the portobello mushrooms and the fried onions, which makes me wonder whether it's supposed to even be here. I actually didn't even see it on the ingredients list. So do we have a basic problem with execution? I don't know. If you do go by and decide to try this out, you definitely want to omit the red bell peppers. Maybe if we added some cheesesteak, joking. Price for me is kind of a big sticking point. Although I would pay fairly high price as long as the quality is there. And with this guy, it is not. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If y'all don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10. Nine being the best. Anything above a nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieve five and down is the slippery slope to food hell. So let's go ahead and give this thing the number that it really deserves. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to go with a 5.4. Some of you may disagree. Maybe my sandwich got messed up when they made it. I don't know. That's my number. This is my review, and we will see you in the next video.